<laughs> Hi, Karen. <laughs> so we're talking about our quantum consciousness series. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. And so what is it? What are we doing? Quantum consciousness. Well, that's a loaded question. Um, basically, what the series is about is introduction material so that, you know, you have science to work with. I think often light workers like us, we get asked, what is this about? How do you know that? You know, and all these different things. And the most beautiful part is that the science is out there. So you can actually answer these questions for people, which is what I tend to do on my day-to-day -day life because I don't get to talk to light workers very much. Yes, so. and I, on the other hand, pretty much <laughs> all I talk to is light workers now. So <laughs> I have no awesome. idea how to translate anymore to normal people, <laughs> which is why it's so good to work with you. Because okay, so for anyone who might be watching this, um, so I'm more of like right brain smart, mm -hmm. left brain absolute opposite of smart. <laughs> okay, and then <laughs> Polly. Is that one. So, so essentially, for all of you guys who might have heard about like the intuitive development courses I teach, but they don't have a scientific spin and we don't go deep into like the science behind it and so so tell about how this type of approach um, helps with the ego Polly oh that's the best part of it is when you get scientific information it satisfies your ego you know it's like we were talking about earlier it's like giving a child a cookie and then putting them in the corner to watch a movie and they are just so happy you know, they're completely satisfied. That's what you're doing for your ego when you give it scientific information. Mm -hmm. So when you do it that way, then we can give you, you know, right-brained applications to help you expand your consciousness for spiritual development, personal development, all those different things that people are really looking to do. Um, it helps make things manifest quicker because you focus on it. Because you're not way. fighting against it too. Exactly. You don't have to argue anymore. It's like taking this love-hate relationship that most people have with their egos, you know, um, that constant doubt and all that, and it just strips it away because there's no fighting. You know, it's not, but I say this, but I say this. It just doesn't happen anymore. So, so how are these the things going to work? Part. Like, what are we doing? Well, basically what we're going to do is the first two modules are going to be more information heavy than the last two modules. Um, just for some introductory work, just so that it's really understood so that, you know, when we get into later work, more advanced work, it's not going to be that, you know, tugging relationship at all. And the best part that I like is there's going to be so much information that the student gets to pick and choose what they want to learn. So it's you like know? a buffet. It's a buffet. It's an info it's a buffet. buffet. Yes. <laughs> it totally is. And it's so funny because different people need different things. And mm -hmm. you don't want to read something you already know. You know, mm -hmm. that's boring. Mm -hmm. So it's like, you know, taking all the information out there and just saying, here it is. You know, and it will be experiential like too, correct? So oh, we'll be teaching yeah. them how to access mm -hmm. their intuitive minds and Absolutely. do things like dream work and divination. Yeah. And There's going to be... Stuff. Yeah, there's going to be dream work and divination, and there's going to be lots of meditating, not like hours on end, but, nope. you know, fun type of fun meditations. And um, <laughs> we're going to work on manifesting, actually, and seeing the patterns in your life and then being able to reweave them energetically. Yes, yes. So that energy weaving. Love. Yes. So question oh, for so you. Um, so... I was talking to someone, I've talked to like three mm -hmm. people about this in the past week. So last year I taught high school students and mm -hmm. they asked me one time, so what about the whole apocalyptic crazy-ish that's mm -hmm. supposed to go down in 2012? And I was telling them because I was teaching them how to manifest, you know, and, oh, and kids cool. and teenagers are really good at manifesting because they haven't had it yeah. pounded into their brain forever mm -hmm. that there's no such thing. And right. I told them, and this is something that is an opinion, it's definitely not mm -hmm. dogma at all, but in my opinion... Mm -hmm. It is definitely more useful to be able to manifest things than it is to, like, prepare for disaster. Yes. Because um, you just manifest what you need. Absolutely. Well, and the best part is, you know, you're the creator of your experience. You're not going to experience anything that doesn't serve you or that you don't want to. So when you Including learn... Including dicey stuff. Like, sometimes yeah. you manifest crazy stuff to Oh, experience. absolutely. I've had dicey experiences, you know, like crazy. But I always say, you know what? I wouldn't be who I am if I didn't have it. So I totally see the use. 
True. You know, and it's good to nav know how to navigate it, though. So th yes. that's some of what we'll be teaching, yes. right? Is like how things work on yes. a less physical level. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You're taking the information that we have in our physicality, in our dimension, that we're able to measure <laughs> with what we have available it's to much. us. Mm -hmm. It's not much, um, and showing, you know, how we can use it on an energetic level, which is the most important level. Because in order for it to manifest physically, you need to manifest it energetically. Mm -hmm. So let's talk for a second, mm -hmm. just a, just like a 30-second <laughs> clip on what's like one of the crazy, because I don't want people to just think we're coming to this academically. Like, right, I have a crazy right. thing happen to me, and I know you have too. So what's yeah. something you don't mind sharing, like a crazy esoteric experience or oh, vision so or something that you've had? That's a really great question. Um, I think the craziest things are... Um, when I was little, I was highly spiritual, I was highly in tune, and um, during my teenage years, it kind of, I tried to be normal, <laughs> and that didn't work out very well, and so I shut it all down for a while, and I started seeing energy again, and so what I does energy can, look like? Energy is really interesting, it's almost, it's almost unnoticeable, depending on who's looking, you know, for me, I can actually see the patterns when I look in any empty space. I can see the pattern of how it's weaved. So and you see with your physical eyes or you see mm -hmm. with your mind's eye? I actually see with my physical eyes. You know, I don't see with my I feel like I feel yeah. it like with my emotions. Mm -hmm. straight, you know what I'm talking you know what I'm talking Absolutely. about. Absolutely. Like totally. I feel but I don't hardly ever see and I think it's because whenever I do I'm like, Oh my god, yeah. I just saw yeah. this thing and so <laughs> and so my brain's like, Harris, you're not allowed to do that all the time. <laughs> You have to be a little bit more discerning about who you tell these things to. And so it just blocks it out. Absolutely. No, I, I see with my physical eyes. It's not as clear as, like, I see you, but it's it's I can totally see the energy around me. Mm. So um, we're going to teach people how to do this? We're going to teach people how they see energy. Mm, yes. One of the things we're finding in the intuitive courses mm -hmm. is that everyone is already doing all this stuff, right? They just yeah. think that it doesn't count. When they're doing exactly. it. Exactly. So well, most, so any of you guys who are thinking about taking this course, mm -hmm. you're already intuitive. You just oh. have to realize that, you're, that all that stuff that happens that you think is normal is your intuition, mm -hmm. which is normal. But. Absolutely. Well, it's so funny because most of the times when we have emotional roller coasters, we think it's us and it's not. It's whatever is around you. And it could even be energy residue from other oh, yeah. people. It's like we're you know? surfing. Like the ocean has these waves. Oh, yeah. And the ocean mm -hmm. being this mm -hmm. and then we're just riding them sometimes we're paddling mm -hmm. along but usually we're just riding the wave and we can either paddle with it or paddle against it and that's kind of it so what are oh, the yeah. dates that we're doing this we are doing it November 22nd to February 4th and there are four modules yes four modules they're awesome and each, each module is different yeah. and they build on each other but you can take one and mm -hmm. not the others if you're only interested in one yes yeah. so what real quick do you, can you name off the modules and then we'll go to the website do. and then we'll sign off? Sure. Module one is waking up from the dream, lucid living. It's basically just an introduction to the consciousness quantum theory and it's how to awaken and expand your consciousness. And you're going to learn, you know, all the fundamentals and how it applies and affects your life as well as the, you know, the applications that we're going to give you so that you can expand it and really feel it and delve in and learn to trust yourself. Learn how to trust your intuition. And then module two is quieting the ego through expanded awareness. It builds on the last one. And this is one of my favorites. Um, <laughs> it's going to be how your ego through information starts to concede to your higher self and your guides. And um, it's a lot more hands-on than the previous module. It's going to be focusing on intuitive work and really honing in to your higher self and who you truly are. You know, a lot of people, you know, they, they wonder, what am I going to do with my life? Well, this is one thing that will help you figure that out if that's a struggle for you. Um, module three is divine pattern integration and weaving. And this is where we're going to teach people how to identify energetic patterns around and within themselves. Um, it's basically learning how to release energetic blocks that prevent them 
from expanding or from growing or from getting that thing that they the really want to manifest. The same junk you've been going through, oh, the same lesson mm -hmm. you've been running for 20 years. Every single yep. relationship I have does this. Every single job mm -hmm. I have does this. My children all do the same thing that drives me crazy. Mm -hmm. It's a pattern you've got in your energy field that you don't see because it's you. Exactly. But this will teach you to see it and rework it. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And this is one of the best ways to enhance your life, hands down. Mm -hmm. I use it all the time. I love mm -hmm. it. Um, and then four? Four is consciousness and the ability to bend your reality, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. And basically, this is the most hands-on. And it's going to show people the, the benefits of having expanded awareness. So not only are they going to actually experience expanded awareness, but they're going to learn the benefits that encompass it all together, as well as how it affects their DNA, which is super important. And this is all around the big day of 2012, so it is. Well, I think that's time. The, yeah, that's the best part is we have set up a very special chat room over that two week period you know for people who have crazy experiences who don't know what's going on you know most of us don't have that many people in our physical world mm -hmm. who are here with us we just you know that's what's so great right. about the internet oh yeah well mm -hmm. and it's a community it's a community of people that understand you that you don't have to worry about being judged and you can talk about things that other people might think are a little out there that you know they're not Amen. and I have the science to prove it which is just kinda cool Yay. so Worst what's the scenario? website the website is consciousnessseries.com. It's easy. Consciousnessseries.com. Consciousness series. It looks a little funny because there's three S's in a row. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> but it's there. Hey, that's kind of like the 555, which yeah. means great it's change. Buckle your seatbelts. Great change. That's perfect. I didn't even know that. That's perfect. <laughs> cool. So, yeah, we're excited. We'll be posting mm -hmm. more info coming up to class. I mean, it's the 8th now. It's the 22nd. Mm -hmm. So what's that? I can't two do weeks, that. Roughly. Yeah, roughly. It's almost. Oh, yeah, it's exactly, exactly two weeks. Yeah, it is. Sweet. All right. So people have two weeks to sign up. And you can do all of the courses. Like, you can mm -hmm. buy all the courses and go through all of them. Mm -hmm. Or you can do them one by one if there's only one you like. Or you want to, like, test it but don't want to sign up for all of them. Mm -hmm. Anyway, thanks for watching, everyone. We look forward to seeing you. And one thing, the cool thing I found about teaching Impala, you know, because you've, you've been around mm -hmm. in the classes, is that the best thing about it is the people that you meet. Oh, yeah. And the crazy things that mm -hmm. happen with the other students. Oh, absolutely. It's ridiculous. Yeah. It, yeah. it makes you feel so loved and accepted. Mm -hmm. And that's the best part. You mm -hmm. know, it's an amazing community. Awesome. Okay. Well, yeah. We'll keep, keep prepping, keep people updated. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon. Much love. Good peace. Bye, Bye. everybody. <laughs>